Jim from Hypertherm here, and I, I want to talk for a few minutes about uh, a kind of a, a little understood uh, aspect of plasma cutting. I, I read all over the online forums about, uh, God, you're going to need a bigger compressor and you're going to need this real expensive air drying equipment and so forth for the compressed air system. And um, in, in reality, uh, plasma cutters, and this one right here is a Hypertherm PowerMax 125. Uh, air plasma systems don't use any more air uh, than a typical um, impact wrench, like you would use to put lug nuts on a car, something along that line. Uh, but it is important that the air that comes out of the shop airlines uh, is clean and dry. We don't want a lot of moisture that's caused, uh, caused by real humid weather conditions. If you live in Florida, uh, you probably do need some air drying equipment. If you live in a desert state, you probably don't need anything to treat your air. Uh, but basically, um, take your shop airline. Uh, if you don't have a lot of moisture in your air, plug it into your machine and you're ready to go. Now, the hypertherm units do have a built-in uh, filtration unit. It's actually a, a, a coalescing filter that spins the particles of moisture, if there are any, out of, out of the air um, and also filters for any uh, rust or particles that might be in the air. Uh, and it has an auto drain on it, so if it does get some water in the system, it's going to drain. However, if you have a lot of water, that can be a problem. But once again, um, uh, clean, dry, oil-free air is, is desired. Uh, it, it really ha has a lot to do with where you live, the geography and so forth. Um, once again, the experts uh, uh, at Hypertherm and the experts at your uh, cutting machine supplier can certainly help you make sure you have the right equipment, uh, the right size hoses and things like that for your air system. Uh, real, easy to, real easy to do right. Thank you.